what are the, some of the use cases that you're most excited to hear about that Vera's helping to solve for now and, and future states as well? Two of the biggest ones for me are that kind of, kind of combine a little, which is the kind of the ability to act upon analytics and the ability to link in AI type tooling. Mm -hmm. Now, acting upon analytics was kind of elaborated earlier, is the ability to not just create that data product, but actually say, based on if this user has scored high enough, do something and do it now. Send out the message to them saying, hey, your rent payment didn't go through and be able to do that thing inside the time allowed so that you don't have to see that little swirly thing on your Zelle app and go, did it really happen? We've all been there when a payment just didn't go through for the wrong reason. We didn't know soon enough. And the thing there is also knowing why and giving the user a bit more than just, sorry, red X, nothing happened. And this is where the AI stuff comes in. The current wave of AI, which is everyone's so excited about, has a couple of amazing features, but the biggest one is the ability to take information and make it human friendly and to take mm -hmm. human input and make it machine friendly. So this is where we can link into these tools, give them the data they need to generate an insight or a thing a human will actually understand. It's all well and good to say there was a 403 error from an internal system, which cascaded to mean that we couldn't verify that the person you're delivering it to was the right person. But that's a bit vague. Instead, it, it, you want to give an answer to the user like, can you please check your landlord's uh, bank details, please? We're not sure it's the right person. Because that means something to a human, right? It's the ability to remove this weird cultural knowledge we've all had to assume into our brains because inscrutable and everyone needs to start speaking numbers and HTTP codes. It's the ability to say, I want to go on holiday. I want to try spicy food and cold drinks. And I want the temperature to be within these kind of margins. And I don't like the beach. And for it to say, well, that sounds really interesting. Based on where you are from and the fact that your passport is from this country, I can give you these three recommendations at these two price, at these three price points. And they're all with inside the number numbers you would actually be able to afford because we know who you are already. And this is really important because it just shortcuts a lot of that mental load we have to put on ourselves and the amount of information which we have to suddenly internalize because you know what? The world is really quite rich when it comes to data and the ability to decide based on the peta and exabytes would exist out there already is next to impossible to do it when you actually want to do it. I don't want to have to sit and research my holiday for six months before I go on it. I want to be able to buy it when it's still cheap now, but today, because it sounds awesome, and then experience it when, I, when I'm ready for it. I don't want to have to go away, learn that Aruba is actually slightly too full of spring breakers for my liking, and instead realize that actually the Costa del Sol is more my speed. I want something to tell me that because I shouldn't have to become an expert in every system I use. Yeah. And that's where both the AI side and the real-time decision-making stuff really can join. And this is what Vera unlocks because mm -hmm. I need historic data. I need current data and I need a real-time decision. And I need that data from N sources. It can't just be what magically happened to have a streaming thing attached. It has to come from everywhere. So I need to move the data in. I need to store it for almost forever, and I need to act now. And Vera provides all three pieces to allow you to have that kind of next generation of user experience. And then the ability to continually change that as new information comes in, as preference and preferences Actually, changes. It's not that it's, it's not a snapshot of, of me when I first put in my profile information. No, it is me as I am right now with all the information that, like, that gets fed through the various systems, right? every website I've visited along the way. It now knows that my YouTube channels are, are giving me suggestions to try these types of foods. So it might suggest a place where those foods are from. Those kind of things matter. Whereas like the snapshot I was when I first filled in their, their onboarding form is very likely dependent on the food I had that day, whether I was tired or not, rather than who I really am.